Hey everybody, it's 9 a.m. here and we're getting ready to finish up our last four H braces and then we'll be ready for fencing. This H brace that we are constructing will serve as an anchor for both the entire four corners of the fence and the future gate. That's why we use such a large post. I'm not sure if you can see from this angle, but it's around 10 inches in diameter. We do have a full H brace demonstration video that we made last year, so if you're curious in how exactly we construct them, there will be a link down below in the description. Good morning everyone. It is now the next morning, 8 a.m. Uh, today we got notified that our trees shipped. So we have one last thing to do for our micro orchard before the trees get here. And today's project is putting up the fencing. Hopefully it'll be a pretty quick project. We got about 288 feet. We're hoping to do it in one loop around, but we got some remnants roll pieces here. So we'll see if it works out. Stay tuned. Okay, honey, here's your hammer. <laughs> Is it a joke? <laughs> no, that's your hammer. Thank you. <laughs> Seven ounce claw hammer. I got it. Well, I think I got it. Okay, so just temporarily put a staple or two in here. Now that we have a bit of fence unrolled, we need to secure one end to itself. We do that by looping around the end post with each of the 20 lines of fencing, and then we wrap it to itself three to four times. We really suggest you use these small twist tools as they will save your hands big time. We'll leave a link to them in the description below. Once tension is applied to the fencing, these wraps will tighten up and hold the fence firm. With the end secure and ready to go, we begin standing up the rest of the fence. As we stand up at each pole, we will add a staple to ensure the fence doesn't fall over on us.
So we thought we were gonna be able to hand tighten this fencing. However, I didn't remember that there's quite a bit of an elevation change on either side. So the hand tightening was not working. So we put together our own fence stretcher here. We've got two two by four by eights that we're gonna put on either side of this stretch of fence. And we're gonna secure it with some big bolts. And then we'll hook up a chain to the tractor and pull it nice and tight. So hopefully this is pretty easy. The handmade fence stretcher really did work. However, as we were tightening the fence, it kept getting caught on the corners because of the branch remnants and tree knots. So if we end up doing this again, we know that the corner posts will really need to be extra, extra flush when we're pulling. All right, as you can see, we were able to get the fence at least up. It hasn't been secured yet. So the next step is to walk around to all of these fence posts and drive in the little staples to make sure that everything stays up. However, the fence stretcher that we made worked perfectly. It actually looks really, really good. As we told you guys, our trees shipped today. Um, so we finished part two out of a three part project here. Uh, the first part we're gonna put up right here if you have not seen that video, it's actually us just chopping down the trees in the winter time to make sure that we had these fence poles. And then part two is erecting the fence. So it actually only took us five days. Um, we started on Saturday and today's Thursday and then Tuesday we didn't come out but um, that's all thanks to the fact that we did fence poles uh, and fencing all last summer so we didn't have to look anything up and we got a lot of experience and practice with that so it actually happened pretty quickly. Um, as mentioned our trees were shipped today so that should be pretty exciting. Uh, we'll bring you guys part three as soon as they come and that will be us planting our trees but thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode uh, for your support of our channel as always we're really excited about the summer we have a lot of big things planned but thank you guys so much for watching.